All right, everybody, welcome to our affiliate training today. Um, I'm Trevor, and I'm going to be hosting this one. You are looking at right now a ClickBank interface. This is, for most of you guys, this will be kind of what, what it looks like when you log into ClickBank. You might see something that looks like this. You'll have like a graph up here, and you'll have some options here on the left-hand side. You may have like an account nickname down here, or it might not look like this at all. And that's the hard thing about training this is my my accounts that I have, the interface is super old looking just because I've had ClickBank accounts for a long time. So I'm using another person's account that was set up, I don't know, maybe last year. So I'm hoping this looks a little more similar to what you guys see. Um, but just keep in mind, your interface might be slightly different. Don't panic about it. Just Just know that ClickBank has different interfaces, okay? But regardless, it, it'll probably look something like this. And when you log in, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to get to this affiliate marketplace um, over here. Because the goal of today's training, guys, is I, I want to talk to you about how we ultimately decide on offers that we want to promote. Last week when we had this training, we talked a lot about, well, what is affiliate marketing and, and how does it differ from drop shipping? And I introduced you to this idea of maybe using ClickBank um, as a noob, right? If you've never done this before, I think ClickBank is, is a pretty great place just to learn as a beginner. Um, and so there, I'm not married to this as a marketplace. There are many, many other affiliate marketplaces so if you don't like if you get into clickbank here and you don't love some of the stuff to promote like that's cool we can go out and find other things but i'm hoping most of you guys can find stuff here because i just think it's a good way to start okay so let's go in let's go hunting for offers today and let me just kind of talk you through that process so you can do the same all right so i'm going to click on affiliate marketplace here And this will open up just sort of like their phone book of different offers. The other thing I could have done is if I click on the account nickname, it'll take me to a dashboard that looks like this. And then all the way up here at the top, I'll highlight and I'll highlight it in yellow right up here. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. In small text, that says marketplace. So I can also click on marketplace there. Um, and it should take me over to the same spot, which it does. So that makes sense, guys. So either way, it'll take you to this section where it says top offers, saved offers, and new offers. And this is your opportunity to start looking through things. Now, I usually spend time looking at stuff here on the left-hand side. So this is kind of like your menu of different categories. Um, so that's where I would start if I were you. Just, I mean, you've got anything from arts and entertainment, from betting to education to games, self-help stuff, software, sports, travel, whatever, health and fitness, if you're interested in that, cooking, um, online marketing, whatever. There's, there's a lot of stuff here. I, I don't know exactly how many offers ClickBank has, but it's a lot. But it's also a revolving door, so like, Offers that are here won't always be here. Um, sometimes an offer is only here for a while and then it's gone. Um, but the, mo the more staple offers, like there's offers I've seen in ClickBank for years and years and years that have just been here forever too. So um, just keep that in mind. Let's start looking through. Anybody anybody have a a preference on where we start here? Let's let's pick a category. Any any category here that's interesting to those of you guys who are here with me live. Employment. I don't even know what fiction is. Is in like books? I don't know. We could we could check that out. Oh yeah, there's okay, lots of suggestions coming in. Um I'll just pick this the first one I see. Um, let's do health and fitness. That was the first one I saw. We can look at some of the other ones as we go along here. Um, health and fitness. All right, let's click on it and take a look. Okay. So guys, when I click on health and fitness, it's going to bring up 
this displaying results here, one of 10 of 766 potential offers in the health and fitness space. It's a lot, right? Um, I don't know. It actually surprises me. Here, I'm I'm gonna go go. I'm gonna scroll down here to the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna like click through multiple pages. Oh yeah, like page after page of different fitness offers here. There's a lot. There's definitely a lot. But let's start with page one. I'm not sure how they curate their content. Um, I think a lot of it is just sorted by like what's most popular. And so I think a lot of times when you click on a category, you're initially just gonna see some of their most popular offers, which we can look through. Um, you'll also notice here, kind of on the left-hand side, you can pick offers that, um, or, or, you, or you can narrow down the search results a little bit. Um, offers that have a, a, a trial or a one-time payment or recurring payments, or you can choose offers in different languages. I've had clients promote things that are in Spanish before, um, right? Like there's just, there's lots of ways that you can, you can um, curate this, this list. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys to really curate it initially. Um, so if you're if you're kind of new here and you're like oh, I don't even know really how to start looking, I would just keep it by this sort results by rank to start, um, just so you guys can see some of the more popular stuff. Okay. So let's look at this one that comes up here on top just for fun. Um, Exapure, it's called. And what do we know about Exapure from just looking at this little section? So let's talk about it. And let me highlight the Exapure section. Okay. So in yellow there, this is this is Exapure. This is just some general information about the program. Um, so it, it tells you a little bit about what it is. It gives you the name of it. It sort of fits into like dietary supplements, it's saying. We can actually go look at this in a little bit more detail. One of the first things I like to do is I just go to their affiliate page right here. So I'm gonna right click and open up this affiliate page. So I can see like what this actually is because I don't know anything about Exapure, right? So, um, Introducing Exapure, the next generation in health offers. Start earning industry leading commissions today. Okay. I still don't know what it is. Number one health offer in history, they're saying. Okay. By the way, when you go to a company's affiliate page, it's going to be a little salesy, just so you guys know. Because this company wants you to promote its stuff. So just 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 know that. It's gonna be a little salesy. They're going to try to convince us looking at this page to sell Exapure and they're gonna make it sound like Exapure is the greatest thing of all time, right? The greatest thing. You gotta promote this. And so that's why you're seeing stuff like earn eighty five percent rev share. Um, huge earnings per click, great conversion rate. They're they're trying to sell us on this. So the affiliate page is good to kind of help you learn a little bit more about the offer. If you actually want to see what it is, though, um, a lot of times I'll come over here and I'll hit this promote button right here. So if I hit promote, um, I can I can generate or I can create a hop link. Um, now it's going to require my account nickname, and I believe on this account it's GL Touch 22. So let me put that in. All, all of your accounts should have a nickname. So when you create your ClickBank account, you'll get kind of like a user ID or an, or an account nickname. So I'm going to put that in there. Tracking ID, just leave that blank for now. We'll hit Create Hop Link, and what it's going to do is it's going to create this link right here. Um, it's encrypted. So it's, it's called an encrypted hop link. We're gonna click on that and that's actually gonna take us out to like the, the offer page. So let's do that right now so you guys can see and I can see what, what this thing is all about. Um, okay, 
So this is what the landing page looks like, meaning this is what the page looks like that you would send a potential visitor to, okay? And, and this is what they see first. So it looks like they're buying a physical product, Exipure. It looks like a little supplement bottle, doesn't it? Um, it says the tropical secret for healthy weight loss. Support healthy weight loss with Exipure's proprietary blend of eight exotic nutrients and plants backed by clinical research. Um, okay. What kind of a, what does it do? It looks like it's a fat burning supplement. Scientists discover the real root cause of your, of your belly fat. Hint, not diet or exercise. Okay, so this is gonna be like a weight loss supplement. Um, yep, got it. So it, it shows a bunch of the stuff that's in it. Again, this is a sales page. This is what your customers are seeing. So we'll, essentially, if we decided we were gonna sell Exapure, we're gonna try to direct our traffic through our affiliate link to hit this page. And if this page is doing its job the way it should, um, people are gonna be like, hey, order now. They're gonna click this order now button. They're gonna come down here and choose one of these bottles. Excuse me, one of these different um, packages. And when they order this, um, you're going to get paid for it, right? That's how this works. So these pages are always really salesy. And uh, oftentimes they're long form. Like check out how long this page is. So you have the top right here. We can scroll and it just has, has a ton of info, doesn't it? Testimonials. There's a testimonial section here. There's the different uh, packages. They, they've got a... 180 day money back guarantee. They've got a little FAQ section here. More buy it now options. Um, they've got some scientific, they've got some citations from presumably some different research articles that they're citing. They keep this, they keep this um, header here at the top, don't they? Which is good because it's got that order now. No matter where you're at on the page, you can always click order now. So that's the landing page. Guys, what do you think about this landing page, just generally speaking? You think this is effective? Could we could we change this landing page? Like let's say we didn't like it and we wanted to adjust something on this page. Can can we change it? No. Right? This is their page. Um this company, Exapure, feels like this page converts really well. They've probably tested different variations of this page, and this is the page they feel like is converting best. So we can't change anything about this page. We're gonna create like our own landing page and then direct traffic over here to basically close the deal, if that makes sense. Okay, so we know a little bit more about what Exapure is now, right? Um, let's look at some of the metrics. Let's look at some of the metrics and figure out kind of like how you know, how much are we making? How popular this thing is? Let's check this out. So you're going to see this right here. Whoops, let me grab my pen. Average dollars per conversion. What does that mean exactly, guys? So it's saying 149.73. Hundred and forty nine seventy three, what does that mean? That means on average, that's how much you would make per sale you send to them. Okay? You'd make on average hundred and fifty bucks. Now that's on average they're saying. So it must be that when we send people here and they come to order, um, you'll notice there's different packages here, right? So if somebody bought a one bottle 30 day supply, it's $59 per bottle. So $59 total. This main one, this one here in the middle, six bottles, 180 day supply is 39 a bottle. Um, and that's gonna end up being $234. And then you've got the $147 one. So they're saying on average, they pay out 150 a conversion. 
which is really helpful for you guys to know in your marketing because if you're paying for ads and stuff you want to know on average how much you're going to make per sale but it doesn't mean every sale is guaranteed 150 if somebody hits this page and they decide they're going to try the one bottle option and they click add to cart here and buy the one bottle um, you're not going to make as much right or if they try the three bottles you'll make a little bit more you'll make the most at the six bottle level but you can't control what they're going to spend so they're basically telling you on average we pay out 150 bucks per sale now what do you guys th what do you guys think about that generally speaking what do you think about the amount they're paying out does that surprise you they're paying that much do you think that's too little too much like what's what's your knee jerk when you see that they're paying out 150 i'm i'm asking for those of you guys who are here live with me right now Yeah, it kind of does seem like a lot, doesn't it? I mean, considering the fact that the product, I mean, at any of these levels, $59, $147, or $234, the fact that you're averaging a $150 payout means they're probably paying out, a, like the percentage is probably really high. In fact, let's see. I'm going to go back to their affiliate page. Okay. 85% rev share. So that means they're paying out 85% is is kind of what I'm gathering from that. Meaning if somebody buys the 59 bottle option, right? $59 bottle, what's 85% of that? 59 times 0 0.85. It's 50 bucks. So at the lowest level, you're making 50. At the mid grade level, which is 147, 147 times 0.85, you're making 125 at the mid level. And then at the level we're hoping they would buy at, they would spend 234, multiply that by 0.85, and you guys would be making just shy of 200. It would you'd be making 199 dollars. So just just for fun, let me write that down so you guys can see it. So this is for Exapure. So on the low end, we're making what, 50? Mid grade, we're making 125. And then on the high end, we're making 199. But they're saying the average was what again? Let's look at the average. 149 is the average. So what does that tell us, guys, if the average? conversion makes us 149. It tells us that most people kind of go in at the high level and then you get a few that go in low and mid, right? That's how it averages out to be 149. Probably probably just, you know, it's a balance of of these three, but a lot of them buy at the high level, which is why you get such a good payout. So that's that's a pretty high payout for sure. I mean, you do the math on that and you're like, okay, well, let's say I make one sale a day, one sale a day times seven days a week, right? 149 times seven, the thousand bucks a week, right? Check my math. I think that's right. That's 1,043 per week times that by 52. We'll say multiply that by 52 weeks equals 54 to 36. That's that's on one sale a day, right? But that I mean that's that's on average. I mean you may skew higher or lower than that, but that's that's what you would average. Um, pretty good. Like the payout here is good, guys. I'll just tell you, um, which it doesn't surprise me why this is a really popular offer. So you guys need to know this number though. This number is really important because when it comes to advertising, depending on how you're getting traffic to this offer, some of you may do some paid ads. And that would mean that per conversion, you can't spend more than $149, right? Or else you're losing money. Or we'll say 150 just to round up. So let's say you're paying out $100 in Facebook ads for every sale you're getting. Well, great, that means you're making 50 bucks a sale, right? 
That would be your net at that point after advertising costs. Maybe you don't do any advertising and maybe you're all running it through an existing email list you have. Um, maybe you have an e-commerce website that has that sells health products and you've built up a little email list from that. And then as part of one of your weekly newsletters, you say, hey, you know, we found this really great product, pretty good results. We really like it. Check it out. And then you put your affiliate link in your newsletter and then let people check it out. Right. That didn't cost you anything. You were just using an existing email list. Maybe you've got a blog and maybe your blog is is pulling rank in, in search engines and you casually mention this um, in an article where you talk about, you know, what are the best supplements out there to take. Right. There's lots of different ways to market it and we'll we'll have that discussion. But for, for our discussion today, I just want to help you guys kind of understand how how you think through picking an offer. This number ends up being pretty darn important for sure. Okay. Okay, so that's 149. That's the average conversion. Now, notice some of this stuff over here. I'm going to highlight it so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's some more metrics. So you've got something called gravity. Gravity, okay. Let's define gravity for just a second. Um, do any of you guys who use ClickBank, do you guys know what gravity is? Oh my word, can you even read that? Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's not my best work right there, is it? Gravity. I want to see how ClickBank actually defines it. You're going to notice their gravity score is 890. Anybody here live know what gravity is? If not, that's okay. Let me see if I can find an official definition from ClickBank. There's a pretty good article on it. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Okay, what goes into the gravity calculation? Gravity score is calculated on a 12 week rolling cycle with more weight placed on recent sales, um, meaning sales from yesterday count more towards the score than sales from last week. Scores will start to dip if sales start to lag, but not in real time. This is why products won't stay at the top forever, but will move down or up the list depending on sales. If you're paying attention to products and want to, that you want to promote, you'll be able to tell when a product is starting to lose some steam. Just remember that these numbers aren't interpreted the same by everyone. One's man, one man's low gravity might be another man's high gravity, so to speak. It all depends on your unique approach to affiliate marketing. Um, okay, so that's good to know. It, it, it's, it's based on real sales that are happening on the offer over a 12-week rolling period. And it's basically saying your gravity score will stay higher on more recent sales. So if you've got an offer on ClickBank that initially was awesome, but starts to peter off, those recent non-sales will really start to lower the gravity score. So when you see something that's got a gravity score like this, like what we're looking at here, 890 is a massive, massive gravity score. In fact, you don't see gravity scores this big very often. Um, which is probably why this is ranking number one in, you know, the, the health and wellness section here, health and fitness section. So think of gravity as how popular the product is and how many people within like the ClickBank marketplace are actually making sales on it. Higher means more popular. Okay. So that's, that's really helpful for us. Now, unfortunately, it's not a perfect metric. And by the way, I may link this. This is actually a pretty good article. Um, here, let me, this is worth understanding. People don't understand what gravity is, like what it really is. They know it's kind of like, oh, like more is better, but that's not even necessarily true all the time. It's just more means more popular. It's being sold more on ClickBank, but it could also mean that there's more competition too. So you get one of these really high gravities 
like this one and it's like well i bet there's more competition in paid ads for this um i bet it's more expensive to advertise it because there's so many competitors but on the other side it's like it's converting well we know that because the gravity score is really high um so keep that in mind that there's there's pros and cons to gravity but generally i think you want a gravity score that's a little higher and I, you know i've heard other affiliate marketers say if you're new to affiliate marketing, you don't want to pick something that's too low and, you know, it's a it's a product that nobody's buying at all. But you don't want to pick something that's maybe the highest because maybe it's too competitive. So no lower than like a 25 gravity I've heard sometimes. I, I don't know if I really subscribe to that, but I've heard other kind of affiliate gurus say that. And then they don't they don't usually give a cap on it. So anyways, that makes sense, guys. Uh, I, Make sure you make a note of this article here, clickbank.com forward slash blog forward slash clickbank dash gravity dash score. You read this article, you're going to know more about gravity than, than most people. And I, I may spend some time on this more in another training, but I just want to give you guys kind of a heads up in general that this is a metric you want to be looking at. Okay. Is that, is everybody, is everybody with me on gravity? Tell me if you're not, because if you're not, you know, we'll we'll spend a few more minutes on it. Again, the rule is we like we like higher gravity. That's usually a good sign. It means how popular it is, right? Okay. Um, this metric we've already talked about. This is the same basically as this other one, initial conversion. Um I don't know why these numbers are different, but they're usually pretty comparable. It's basically just like, how much am I making per sale? Um, so this this is showing a little bit lower, but I don't know. I actually don't know why it's not showing the same. I know this is the average conversion. This shows initial conversion, but anyway, these numbers will be comparable always. Um, what does it mean, a recurring rebill, guys? If some of you guys notice that some offers have this and others don't, and this will vary a lot in um, amount. In fact, check this out. This person or this T-Burn product, this one below, has a rebill of $1.85, whereas X Exapure has $36.83. And then you've got Glucotrust down here. There's no rebill. So explain to me what rebill is. Anybody know? Yeah, it just it just means like Hold on, I'm just reading some of the, I'm re, sorry, I'm reading through some of these responses here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm seeing some that are spot on. A rebill is basically like how much do you get paid on average on a recurring level? Like what does it does does the offer collect money from customers? after that initial sale and if it has a rebill it's basically saying yeah there's something in the offer that your customer could be paying exapure you know monthly and that's on average how much you're going to make which makes sense on exapure based on what we've seen because i bet people can basically say hey i'm going to buy this on a monthly basis and um Maybe they're ordering a, a bottle a month and you're getting paid thirty six eighty three. I bet that's what it is. Um, Judy, let me read your question because that's a good question. Judy just asked, what happens if the customer returns the item within the guaranteed time and you've already been paid? How does that work? Um, so if somebody does return something, it's going to get pulled out of your ClickBank affiliate commissions. That's that's basically what happens. So like over the course of a month, you're going to be accumulating money in your ClickBank account. As people are buying from the different offers you're promoting, that money all goes back into ClickBank. So like if we go back out to um, the dashboard here, you'll see like you'll see these metrics right here. And 
they're going to pull out refunds from what you're getting paid. They're also going to pull out chargebacks. So obviously we don't like refunds, we don't like chargebacks, and then and then you get paid off of the net there. So yes, it would be typically you guys are getting paid mon uh, monthly. So they'll factor all that in. You want to pick offers that don't have refunds and chargebacks, and you'll actually find on some affiliate pages. Um, hold on. Let's see if I can find. Where's our affiliate page here? This is the affiliate page. Okay. Sometimes you can find info about this. Like sometimes they'll actually post what their refund rate is like. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see anything on refund. Yeah, they don't have any info on it. Um, you could ask. You could ask if you were curious enough what their refund rate is. You come up here to the contact us and just and just ask them. I'll bet it's not very high. Although some affiliates, they know it's low, and so they're like, hey, we have a 0.5% refund rate, and that's that's nice to know. They're not saying anything here. So I assume you do get some refunds from this one. I would assume so. Um, okay. But this number's good. Go, going back to kind of what we were talking about originally here, we really, really do like a rebill. Because that means if I send Exapure a customer, not only am I going to make 150 bucks on average, but there's a chance that that customer really likes the product that as they continue to buy it, I'm on average going to be making 36 bucks a month off that person. Be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, you build up enough of a rebuild customer base. Um, you know, you, you can make really good money on that. I've had affiliates that I promoted where customers are paying monthly for them and like it's just nice because you're always getting a check no matter what you're always getting paid every month no matter if you did a whole bunch of marketing or not you've got a built-in sort of revenue stream just from rebills so some of my clients that are kind of into that um, that's a big part of them choosing a uh, you know something to sell they want to choose a product that has um, a decent rebill amount, for sure. Um, Celia, good question. I'm, I'm going to read your question for everybody. Celia just asked, do you have to ask the seller if you can promote their product? Like, do you have to make a proposal? Um, you don't, not in ClickBank. So this is part of the reason why I like you guys using ClickBank, because once you have an account at ClickBank, all of these offers you can promote, all of them. And it really is as easy as hitting that little blue promote button like we did earlier. Hit promote, put in our account nickname, which GL Touch 22. I hit create hop link. And then this link right here, guys, which we'll get into more detail later, like that's your affiliate link right there. So if I gave somebody that link, I, let's say I emailed this to my friend or a family member and they clicked on this link and then bought some of Exapure's stuff, I would definitely get paid and that money would show up in my ClickBank account. So you get access to all of these. Now, not all affiliate networks are like this. Um, one that I mentioned to you guys last time in our last training is CJ.com and they're the opposite. You get a CJ.com account and then you see like a big database like we're looking at here. Um, but you have to apply to a lot of the offers. So here, like they're all they're all, they're automatically approved, Celia. So you can just kind of pick the ones you like, which is kind of nice, right? Definitely kind of nice. Um, so those are some of the main metrics I like to look at. Uh, we're shoot, we're out of time. There's there's way more we need to cover about this. We'll probably just we'll we'll probably just pick up on the same conversation next Wednesday. Um, I, I make a spreadsheet usually, and there's a number of things I sort of 
put in my spreadsheet when I'm trying to decide on offers to promote, and I'm going to share with you kind of what that process looks like. So we'll hopefully have time to do that next time. But at least you know the metrics and the numbers a little bit better here so you understand what you're getting paid, how popular things are. And, and I would encourage you between now and next week to just get in here and make a list of offers that look interesting to you. You can see what the product is. You can see how much money you're making. You're gonna, you're gonna see whether it's got a rebill and if you're making anything recurring or monthly. You're gonna see what the gravity score is to see if something is very popular. I'll find offers on ClickBank that literally have a zero gravity score, meaning in the last 12 weeks, like nobody's making sales on it. It's helpful to know, right? It makes me wonder, well, why is nobody making sales on it? Is it not converting? Is it not a good product? Like th anyway, there's some research that can go into that, um, but let's let's try to pick stuff that's already proven and we know is working, right? I do have some previous stuff, Leslie. Um, not not a ton. I'd have to go back. This is kind of why I'm doing this series is a lot of the stuff I have on affiliate marketing is a little bit older, stuff that I've recorded over years past. Like there's definitely some stuff from 2021 we've done on affiliate marketing. So you can come to the Trevor's webinar dot subscribe me now and do the click on recordings from 2021 and you'll see some stuff there, but there's not, there's not a ton. And so I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to change that over the course of the next few you know, a few weeks, a couple of months as we do this series. Um, I could look in some of my, my stuff, but I, I'd hate to send you some stuff that's like six or seven years old because I know I've got stuff like that. And it's just like, no, nah, I don't want to send you stuff that's too old. Um, okay, guys, let's finish up. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, go read this blog post, by the way, that I shared with you. Understand gravity, because I think that's going to be super helpful. And that is one of the most misunderstood things on, on ClickBank. Like I've, I've had clients that are like, well, I only pick the offers that have the highest gravity. And it's like, well, uh, that's not really, I mean, you're missing the point if you're doing it that way. So read that, read that article again. It is here. Here's the link. So go check that out. And then let's, let's continue this conversation next time. I excited to talk more about ClickBank, help you guys pick offers. We'll talk about it next Wednesday for sure. Um, appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you next time.